Yes. Welcome back to the Scrapyard, guys. Rose Tronic here, and we're back with another Marvel Snap video. Today, I wanted to answer a question that I get asked a lot on stream and in comments and things like that is, is the season pass worth it? Now, this really begs the question, you know, is anything worth it? But we won't get into that larger conversation. Is it worth it for you? Really depends on have you got 10 euro or $10 in your life that you would spend anyway on some form of entertainment? You spend enough time playing marvel snap that that ten dollars is like yeah sure of course i played this game all the time ten euro ten dollars i i lose that down the back of the couch or it's under my car seat somewhere and for me that's the kind of conversation i have and i think to myself ten euro is not a huge amount of money for the amount of enjoyment i get from marvel snap that being said i wanted to deep dive into what you actually get for your ten euro or your ten dollars or whatever the currency you pay and help you try to evaluate is that worth it for you First up, you get the Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer is a three drop that buffs all your other three drops. I think it is the perfect season pass card because it's a card that is not so broken that you need it to climb. So the people who choose not to buy the season pass, obviously they'll have FOMO, you know, that fear of missing out, but they won't be missing a card that is essential for them to climb to infinite if, that, if that's what their end goal is. I think Second Dinner have done a great job on balancing a card that you know if you buy is good but not meta breaking and if you choose not to buy you feel like you can't climb or you you don't have the best deck in the game what else do you get the season itself has a focus on the infinite and the collector so you get boosters you get a total i think 230 boosters uh, across all of these cards which will help you rank them up i don't know if boosters have a monetary value but yeah, you get 230 boosters across the, the course of the, the 50 ranks. Why would you want to upgrade these cards? Well, because you get sick variants for these cards. And here are the variants. You, yeah, the variants are great. I love them. They're really, really cool. Now you need 155 boosters to upgrade a card to infinite. So you won't be able to upgrade them to infinite, but it'll get you on the right path. You'll get them to a level that, you know, they're like, you know, at least get them to 3D. That's my end goal most of the time. I've also started matching the borders to the text, which is something I've seen other people do. And uh, yeah, I'm obsessed with that now. Additionally, you get four mystery variants. So you'll get variants for other cards in your collection, which is cool as well. Who doesn't love more variants? Next up, you get gold. Now, this is kind of where people see the real value or maybe perceive the real value to be. So you get 900 gold across the 50 levels. I had a look in the shop and the closest you can buy to that is 700 gold, which is actually 11 euro and 99 cents. So you've already spent 10, 11 euro. You're getting more gold than you would if you bought just gold and you get all the additional bits and pieces the value is there if 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 you're looking for actual you know value for your euro what is it worth for in-game currency so you're already getting more gold than you would get if you spent the same amount of money just on gold itself you also get 300 credits which is worth about 240 gold again i'm just using the in-game shop here which 240 gold, I did my best mathematics I could do, is worth around four euros. So you're getting an additional four euros worth of credits. And again, who doesn't love more credits so that you can rank up your cards? And lastly, you get these avatars, again, from the same characters, from the Collector, from the Infinite, from Silver Surfer. You get two different card backs. I think the Marvel Snap one is cool. The Silver Surfer one is also cool if you like Silver Surfer. And you get two titles, which i am be honest with you, I'm not that thrilled about. Insatiable Hunger for Tacos and the Silver Couch Surfer. Fine, I have better ones already in my personal opinion, but they're cool little additional bits that you get that you'll have in your collection for future seasons. People will go, oh, where'd you get that cool collector? Or where did you get that cool card back? And you can say, well, I got it in the season pack. The question of value is a really hard one to answer. When people ask me, is the season pass worth it? I say, yes, it is to me for the amount of time I spend playing this game. And also part of me feels like spending the money helps the second dinner team hire more people. It helps the game progress, game advance. I don't know if you buy into that, but for me, it feels like, you know, I'm contributing a little bit into this game and helping that game grow so that we have it in years to come. And hopefully I can make content on it for years to come. Okay, and that's the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're one of the 20% that have subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you're one of the 80% that watch my videos and haven't subscribed, why haven't you subscribed yet? I'd really appreciate it if you hit that sub button. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, regardless of whether you sub or don't sub. 
I'd really appreciate it. Okay, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.